It's the final episode of our Big Island series. We go back to my hometown of Hilo. Get ready for the best of the east side and the biggest snowfall in years. Welcome to Japan Dream! <laughs> In the previous Hawaii episode, we spent time in Kona. Time to head back to Hilo. On the Daniel K. Inoue Highway, we're greeted by a huge rainbow that stretches across the sky. Downtown Hilo, the old Crest Building. This famous landmark was built in 1932. Along Kamehameha Avenue, you'll find all kinds of shops, from ukulele stores, restaurants, and lots of galleries. Extreme Exposure Fine Art Gallery is run by international, award-winning photographer Bruce Omori. His vivid works are truly amazing. Mahalo, Bruce. Aloha. Please come visit Extreme Exposure Fine Art Gallery in Hilo. We make a right to another famous landmark in Hilo, Palace Theater. I remember standing in a long line with my family to watch Jaws here. This is also where I saw Star Wars for the first time. It's good to see the Palace Theater still being used for plays and concerts. Next door is where I used to work out, Spencer's Health and Fitness Center. Nearby is Mo'ohale Bus Terminal and one of Hilo's most popular restaurants, Cafe Pesto. On to Hilo Farmer's Market, where you can find a great assortment of fruits and vegetables. And of course, the Big Island's famous Papayas. This place is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. One of the things locals love to do in Hilo is take a cruise down Keokaha. My friends and I spent a lot of time here. Great memories. This is one of Hilo's most popular beaches. The park was named after Elsa and George Richardson. Mr. Richardson, who is part Hawaiian, often fished in Keokaha. This beach is also home to one of Hilo's most famous surf spots, Richardson's. There's a brackish water pond here. It's a mixture of fresh groundwater and seawater. Look closely and you'll find fish and tiny shrimp called opai. Coming up, I'll take you to two of my favorite stores in Hilo, plus the biggest snowfall in years. But before that, mahalo to the sponsor of this episode, Pure Hawaiian Water. It's pure water that comes from Hawaii. You've seen their bottles on flights from Hawaii, and now you can get them online. Servers are available too for your home or office. Click the links below for more information and check out their Instagram too. Mahalo. There are a lot of great places to shop in Hilo. I'll show you two of my favorites. First, Big Island Candies. You're greeted at the door with free samples. In 1977, local boy Alan Ikawa and his wife started their chocolate-covered dream in a small warehouse. Today, Big Island Candies is one of the best places in Hawaii to buy cookies and sweets. And they've expanded, offering all kinds of cool creations.
While you shop, you can also watch the workers make Big Island Candies signature chocolate dip shortbread cookies. Mahalo to my good friend Lance at Big Island Candies for all the Ono treats. If you need to buy gifts or want to get something sweet for yourself, stop by Big Island Candies. We continue our tour of Hilo. Walter Victor was a local police officer who dedicated a lot of his time coaching youth sports. Today, this complex, named after him, is enjoyed by many local families. Next door is Hilo's only auditorium. It was built in 1957. I remember watching the UH Hilo Vulcans basketball team play Patrick Ewing's Georgetown here. I also saw the new kids on the block, Marky Mark and Expose, perform. The Afuk Chinin Civic Auditorium grounds is also home to the Hawaii County Fair. When I was working at KBIG FM as a DJ, we did live reports from this stage. It feels like yesterday. From the stage, there's a great view of Francis Wong Stadium and the Edith Kanaka Ole Multipurpose Stadium the home of the Merry Monarch Festival. Sui San, established in 1907, is still a local landmark, known for its fresh fish. Back in February of this year, the Big Island was blessed with the biggest snowfall in years. Mauna Kea, covered in snow. Absolutely breathtaking. Right after this trip, I had to fly back to Japan to MC a big concert tour with my friend Kanai. I needed some new shirts. I knew exactly where to go. Sig Zane Designs in downtown Hilo. This is my other all-time favorite store in Hilo. Their award-winning clothing are silk screened. Sig cuts out the designs by hand. Luckily for me, Sig was at the store. All of his designs have a deep meaning, like this beautiful shirt called Hilo One. This is our Hilo shirt, and I did it for this place that we were actually born in. I think that the streets are like the webbing of the community. All of these places are so important to Hawaii. You know, have a different experience that each of us can have and take with us as we uh, experience them. But yeah, Hilo One, the sands of our birth. These are the shirts Sig personally chose for me. Mahalo Sig. Come to Hilo, come to visit us. You know, and then maybe if you're lucky, you get to see the volcano while you're here. We'll see you soon, Ahoy Ho. What an amazing trip. As I get ready to fly back to Japan, all I can think about is how lucky I am to call this place home. Wake up to the break of dawn, glassy home. I hope you enjoyed our Big Island series, featuring part one, Hilo.
Part 2. Waikoloa. Part 3. Kona. And Part 4. Back to Hilo. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks to you, the channel's gotten this far. I really appreciate the support. Mahalo so much. I'm Vance K. See you again soon on Japan Dream. I feel the liquor holding on to my breath Playing back every word that I said I'm sitting in the dark Reminiscing on the two of us